on this fall day. So I'm in my fall sweater and I'm heading north to Seattle to hang out with my friend Bernie. She's on the agenda is a private pick um, at, uh, I don't, I think she's a subscriber. Maybe she follows me on Instagram, but anyways, her name is Dawn and she reached out to me because she has a storage unit full of stuff and she's moving to Montana. So we're gonna go check that out. Okay. Well, we well I don't have, need. Yeah, I don't I need any am, furniture. Uh, not married to anything here. Okay. So if you, whatever you like, if, if you like anything, just stick it in a pile. Okay. Well, um, the only awesome. thing is, this is stuff from my car. That's oh, nice. from your car. Okay. Uh, this is just like you know. I loaded most of the items but my gosh there's just so much I'm gonna show you a little bit more <laughs> so all of those boxes are full oh my gosh that pick was amazing I gotta thank Dawn are you doing a video right now yes <laughs> But I'm not touching my phone. Okay. Um, anyways, thank you so much to Dawn for yes. inviting Bernie Plus and being I. A real sweet human being. She was very sweet, mm -hmm. and um, it was such a great pick. <laughs> Everything in every box was vintage. I didn't even get through the whole storage unit because look at my carts filled up now. So. Anyways, we're going to lunch sometime soon. I will do a haul video for you. But there's absolutely no way I can show you everything. Maybe I'll group things together. The haul. The haul. I'll group the haul in different genres. And you should write a book called The Haul. Bernie thinks I need to write a book called yeah. The Haul. <laughs> that would be a fun book. Yes, actually. it would. Like do vignettes. Yes. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So. Cool. so Bernie, tell them what you bought. Uh, I bought a purse. Yes. And a shelf. And a shelf. And uh, a planter. Not just any shelf. It was an. It's an East Lake shelf. It's really pretty. I thought it was West Lake. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Distracted, do not get distracted. So far, I got some a red one, a couple of white ones, but the openings are standard sizes, so I've not really seen a fit for every one that I have that's in my cart. So, I guess I'm just gonna take what I have found and just get those frames, see how they look. Get them in the store.
so we're back home. I'm not gonna empty my car, but I am so excited to see how that Lucar is gonna look in those Ikea frames. So let's get in the house and let's frame them up. So I had to put my seats down because there was so much stuff I had to fit in the car. All this. <clears throat> boxes and bins and baskets. I mean, look at just this. How cute is this little basket purse? Oh my God, it's so adorable. Anyways, let's get in. Oh, and look at this one. That is so good. Hey, just like Mr. Rogers, I'm gonna put on my red felt slippers. And we are gonna get to work. I hope you could see that. There's a lot of glare, but look how beautiful. I love this one with the red frame. And then this one looks so good. And so, because I want people to know their original paintings, um, and is that like charcoal? Is it watercolor? I think it's watercolor. Anyways, I'm going to put little signs that say where they come from and that I brought them back. But look how absolutely gorgeous they look. They are just so beautiful. I'm thrilled. I still have um, about three more that need frames, <clears throat> but the sizes are a little bit odd. So I'm going to have to figure that out. So if you're new here, my name is Abigail and I own a vintage and antique store in Polsbo, Washington. I have an antique booth in Seattle, Washington. I sell on almost all the major platforms, but my favorite right now is Etsy and I do have a coupon code. It is love it, buy it. It saves you 15% off your total purchase on both Etsy and eBay. And if you're on Instagram, we should totally be friends because I post content every single day, which typically doesn't even make it onto any of the videos. So let's go ahead and do a haul. There is so much from this private pick that I can't show you stuff individually. We're just gonna go over to my kitchen counter and I'm just gonna pan across the whole thing and maybe go over a few items that I particularly really love. All right, this is the full, well, this is not the full haul. I actually delivered some items to my booth already and a pile of bags to the store. But I really love this little owl trivet. Actually, it's quite large and rather heavy. It's got a date of 1986 on it. 
very pretty. And this standard pair of herons. It's funny, I just had a short with a pair exactly like this that I took to my booth. I really love like a little pencil box or a little trinket box. This one is absolutely beautiful, probably made in India. And then a bunch of trays. This one needs a little bit of cleaning. And I have these two copper trays. This one is absolutely beautiful. I do not run into trays like this very often. It is very, very rare. I haven't looked this guy up, but he strikes me as very mid-century modern. I really think he's very cool. I got some like candlestick so I got three of those and then three in the silver and the mother of pearl and then way back here is this adorable pelican and that's funny the last private pick I went to uh, earlier this year I <laughs> got a couple of these guys I think they're super cute this tray is also beautiful. I just love this enamel over brass. Very pretty. Now this just totally reminds me of the 70s. Look how cool this is. Somebody burned these butterflies into this cute little tray. Um, here's a brass horse. I'm gonna put them with the brass items. Another little box, a much bigger box that has what looks like a camel on it. Obviously, these two are from India. And a bunch of little carved animals, these two cute little elephants. Now, I'm a Taurus. I was born in May, and this totally reminds me of a Taurus symbol. And then up here, this adorable little whale. All the little animals will be going to the store, including this little carved owl. I really loved this, this little plant stand. It is tiny, the tiniest plant stand I've ever seen. And that will be listed online. And then this is going to the store, this beautiful carved wood vase. Let's see what else. And now we're getting into the pottery. I thought this guy was so interesting. Like, what is he? Anyways, that is the lid. Um, but I love this blue color. Is he supposed to be like a turtle? Anyways, he's got a tiny little head and a big body if he is a turtle. And then this cute little guy, this little kitty this little pot. This is from Mexico. It's got a little frog on it. And then this little cute little bowl trinket dish with this little, what is it? Like a little lizard, chameleon. I love the pattern on this. Look how beautiful that is. That is so gorgeous. And it's funny because I had been saying that day that what I really needed was more stoneware pottery. There's also this vessel that's absolutely stunning with these like fern design on it. Beautiful Asian teapot, ceramic, wonderful mug with this Nautilus shell. Another piece of Mexican Tolivara pottery. This is gonna go to the booth because it really strikes me as something you would put in a country kitchen. Now, I've sold several sets of these. These are wonderful. They are coasters with this little carrier and then each coaster has a different butterfly. And so these are always a big hit online. So this will be going online as well. And then another little beautiful blue trinket dish. And then this very interesting plate uh, that I would use as a decorative piece, Artist Collaborative Gallery. This is from California originally. And then more pottery. The design on this one is also really beautiful. This must be like a cheese keeper. 
And then this beautiful, I don't know what it is about blue pottery, but I really am digging it lately. Oh, and here's a little marble owl. I'm gonna put him with his little friend. And then this is super interesting. So this is obviously from the 70s. I have it upside down. It is meant to hold candles, like pillar candles. You hang it from the ceiling. I got a Russian nesting doll. Very cute. Um, and then this is just like a little decorative stand. Kind of interesting. I threw it in my pile. Um, hanging baskets are always popular, so I got this one. And then it's funny, I just grabbed this to actually put things in, but it's actually a really nice basket. So that is the haul. <laughs> oh, and then I forgot this. It's just a little bamboo like coat rack, very cute. That one's gonna be going online as well. And then this little footed brass bowl is going to my booth because that's something that I definitely look for this kind of little decorative pieces that can lean more to the romantic side of decorative uh, decorative genre. joining me on this wonderful adventure. <sighs> I just love being a vintage reseller. And if you get a chance to get out and do some thrifting yourself, I certainly hope the thrifting gods will be with you, that you find some fabulous stuff. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.